Welcome back to Vlogmas 2020 episode number one and today I'm going to show you how I made a, a red truck Christmas wreath for $35. The inspiration wreath for this I looked I found it on Pinterest. On the website it was $125 plus $25 shipping so I think $30 is a really good price. I mean, it's more than I normally would spend, but this is something I'm gonna use for multiple years. So anyhow, I am going to use a grapevine wreath and I bought this wall decor at Hobby Lobby. It was on sale for half off, so I paid $11 for it. Now you could definitely E6000 glue it and hot glue it if you'd like. I chose to just tie it on because I may end up using this in my house as decor outside of the season. And so I'm just going to tie it with some, um, I can't even think of the name of this uh, string. But anyhow, I'm gonna tie it very securely. I triple knotted it, so it's not going anywhere. But like I said, you can certainly glue it on. And then I'm just going to cut off the excess string so it's not showing. Well, unfortunately, when I went to edit this, I realized that I messed up the camera and I missed showing you how I tied on the bow, which I just used the um, like bread tie that's on the back of it. And I just started gluing in the greenery. I started with the Dollar Tree greenery. I did the Joann's and now I'm on the Hobby Lobby. This is just the order I thought looked nicest. I definitely did this ahead of time a couple different ways to just kind of get a layout of it. And this is, this is the final way that I like the best. Definitely you want to do that before you glue anything down. And so you can kind of play with it and get an idea of what you want to do. And by the way, everything I bought for this wreath, except for the Dollar Tree picks, were 50% off. So 50% off at Joann's and 50% off at Hobby Lobby. But anyhow, I think for the price, this really did turn out very nice. I would never dream of spending $150 on a wreath. $30 was kind of pushing it for me, but I absolutely love this wreath. All right, that's it. This is quick, it's easy, and I think it is just absolutely gorgeous. And thank you for watching episode one of Vlogmas. All right, be sure to hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and hit subscribe if you would like to see more from me in the future. I am participating in Vlogmas, so I'll be doing 24 videos in a row. And I'm almost at 500 subs, so I'd love to see you join my crowd back i hope you enjoyed this video you know, it wasn't very long but it is a quick and easy way to make a wreath i did show you in the beginning what i paid for each item i have about 30 dollars in this wreath the inspiration wreath that i found online was 125 dollars plus 25 dollars shipping for 150 dollars total i believe my wreath is just as pretty and i love it so let me know in the comments down below, do you like the buffalo check? Uh, do you like the red trucks? What kind of style do you have? This is for my front porch, which you will see in the home tour video tomorrow. And I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm excited to be doing Vlogmas. I will be doing some crafts uh, for the holidays. I will be doing some recipes for um, desserts. I will be doing some gift recipes and I will also be doing some um, and I will be giving a house tour video for Vlogmas for the winter or the Christmas time. All right. I hope you guys have a great day. Don't forget not every day is good, but there's something good in every day and I'll see you tomorrow.